Hi everyone, this is Carol. As your ultimate source of video editing, we are here to share with you some useful editing tips and techniques that could boost your video creation and take it to the next level. But before we start, make sure to free download the software through the link we put in the description box down below. Alright, now let's get into today's video. Hitchcock lens is also called Dolly, Dolly Zoom or Hitchcock Zoom. This technique was first used in Vertigo, the suspense movie of thriller master Alfred Hitchcock. The principle behind this technique is to push a camera continuously into the subject and at the same time narrow the focal length. In this way, the photographer could get a larger field of view in the image and the scene appears more extensive. Meanwhile, it also helps neutralize the effect of character being magnified, which means it creates such visual effect that the characters could remain motionless while the background image gradually recedes. However, these shots would often require advanced and expensive equipment and also the assistance of professional film crews. So do the rest of us really have no approach to manage it? Don't worry, here in this tutorial we are going to show you how to create Hitchcock effect out of a piece of ordinary footage with Video Vlogger and build a fake camera movement in your work. First, we are going to shoot or pick a video with camera moving forward effect. If you choose to shoot yourself, be sure you shoot at the highest possible resolution. This could ensure plenty of room for you to adjust in post-editing. Here, we are going to use a clip of a team of medical personnel to demonstrate. It is best to have a certain distance between the subject we shoot and the background image. Well, double-click to open the software. Create a new sequence and import the selected footage into the library. Drag the clip to the main video track. Click the motion button at the bottom of the preview window to open the motion editor. Here we want to simulate the focal length adjustment, which resembles the zoom out effect. Well, find the zoom out in the preset window. Put a mouse on it and click Add. Here we can see a box appearing in the left preview window. The box determines the range of the current image, and you could see the rendering in the preview window at the right side. Find the frame control at the bottom. Click it and find the aspect ratio in the pop up window. Select a fixed aspect ratio convenient for the subsequent operations. Here we are gonna go with the 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Well, you can of course choose other size you prefer. After you make your choice, go back to the left preview window. Adjust the size and the position of the frame at the beginning. Well, I think this is good. So that medical stuff could be concentrated in the middle and lower part of the screen. And also expose the small part of the side background and image above. Next. We drag the end keyframe to the sec second. Like what we did earlier. Select a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Then adjust the image. The purpose of doing this is to make the proportions of the medical members both in this image and in the first frame appear similar to each other. And to further improve the simulation result. During the process of adjustment, we can use these two little bottom, previous keyframe and the last keyframe. Toggle between so that you can further improve the adjustment and get a proper size and position. We are almost there once we get here. Play it and check the result. Well, not bad. Click Apply and get all the effect into the video. Then, let's return to the timeline. 
click on the position where the facts end. Click split to split the video. Delete the extra part of the video. Well, there you have a Hitchcock video made in the post-production. Apart from the video with camera pushed forward, you can also create Hitchcock video with the footage that contains a camera being pulling back, like what we did before. Put the footage in the timeline track and open the motion editor. Well, the difference here is we use a zooming effect to do it. Other than that, the rest moves are similar. And another tip worth noting is that you gotta ensure the subject appear in the beginning and the end of the frames are similar in size. Here, let me quickly finish the adjustment. Well, I think that's pretty much enough. Play it, and let's see the effect. Well, this is what I want. Now, click Apply and get the effect into the video. You can base your choice of using which method on the language of the shot you are going to express in the video. Usually, I would go with the first method to show the inner tension of the character, while the second method comes to draw upon the subject and the background object. Thus, it is often used to express a mutual attraction of two things or to bring the mental distance in between. After we finish all the operations at last, don't forget to click Export to export your video. By far, I think you have learned how to post to produce a Hitchcock video with the video prog. So, try apply the tech click into your own video making. Alright, now you've reached the end of today's video about how to dolly zoom in video pro vlogger. I think you've got it. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe our channel if you haven't yet. We'll see you soon in this guide tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.